What is going on? Been a while, right? Okay, so looking at uh, the battery voltage uh, on my car, I was charging it up. I am outside. There's noise in the background. This is a 2006 Impala. This is the victim, the car that I'm always experimenting on. I added a new, and this is only. I can't put this in the paid version or even the ad version yet, but it's available to you guys now. Here we have active, and this is experimental guys, right? So, what I did is I created this basic um, screen for, uh, let me show, when you show codes, it shows all these details about the different values that are going with each key, you know, each key. These, this is the code for this key, this key, etc., etc., right? And then I can hide it and just hit the keys. So it's sort of a active test that's programmable. And pretty much the only thing you can do is put the command you're sending in and um, the ECU you're sending to. I'm, I keep blocking this. Sorry, guys. And uh, <clears throat> and tool present message it tells the car. Like, if you don't send the tool present message, which is a very simple message, the car will just stop doing your thing. And I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so I'm going to hide all this stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. And starting is um, basically getting hold of the car. Okay, there we go. So what do we have? We have the fans. Okay, that's why we're all up on the car. Okay, so... And basically I can turn like this one fan on okay I think we can hear that right okay so that's the sm the slower fan or the smaller fan and I can shut that off right and then I can turn on the uh, the bigger fan well let, let me do this right now you heard how loud that was I'm going to turn both fans on at the same time Right, and that makes a racket. So, and then I'll turn just two on, which will shut the smaller one off. Right, so now this will be a third, like, middle sound. Like you might have heard fan one went off, but fan two stayed on. And then, of course, I can shut them off. Whoops, I didn't see that. I can shut them off. Right, so basically, I can turn. Fan 2 on. And basically that'll stay on. Just I'm not sending that message constantly. I just sent that message once. And it'll stay on as long as I'm sending my tool present message. And watch, I'll stop sending my tool present message. And that fan will just shut off. At least I expect, yeah, see, it'll just shut off. So none of these commands will stick without sending the tool present message. I'm pretty sure that's a standard throughout the industry. So you have the option to send it or not. It just constantly gets sent. Every one and a half seconds this gets sent. So now I can stop that. Oops, can you see that? I know that's me in the background, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you can... I gave us four. We have four active tests. So there's nothing here this is just for you to put in whatever if you can get information you got four buttons for each test so we we're just looking at the fans test right and I have this will be a stock in there just so you get a head start if you have an Impala it might even work um, it, so I have another test which is the lights and, uh, let me start this and uh, let me shut off all this noise Right, okay, so now I'm connected, I'm in the lights test now, and I can do low beam on, right, okay, did you see that? Yeah, that should have came on, so now, now the same deal, right, let me, let me do this, let me uh, shut, the, shut it off, oops, oops, hitting things, Using myself here, let me get rid of all this stuff. This should shut it off. Alright, okay. <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind there for a second. Okay, so now if I 
don't send the tool present message and, and turn the car, you know, the, the light on. It'll just come off, right? It'll just shut off. I think in the other video I was doing that. So, see that little bug there? Get out of here. Uh, so, I'm going to send the tool present message and then, then the, uh, you know, the beam will stay on. And it's like, it's both. Yeah. Both of them. <clears throat> so let me shut that off. Okay, so basically these are just activations. There's other things like door locks and things I just haven't gotten to. Um, door locks are interesting because it's you know everything's a little different. Door locks are on off on the solenoid. Like you have to turn the solenoid on and then you get to turn the solenoid off. It's not turning the solenoid off is not the same thing as unlocking, right? Unlocking is turning the solenoid in a different direction. I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is a new Okay. I think that uh, pretty much explains it. I'm not too it's not working too good out here, so I, I think I'll continue any discussion inside, but let me stop this and we go back. Oops, right, I hit stop. It said start right up start it stop right it's really similar to the other ways I've done things and I stopped it now I'm gonna go from I'm gonna go from the lights to back to the fans test right and then oops and I'm gonna start that again and a, right, there we go Turn um, band one on. I think it'll stay on. Oh, I'm not set. I'm not sending that. Okay, so this may not stay. It should be different for each one, but whatever. So let me try that again. Oops, I'm not showing everything right. So I didn't have that on. So now it's on. So it should be sending that every time. So the fan should just stay on this whole time. If I just shut my phone off or I hit stop, right, the, the tool would disappear and the car would say, oh, this guy disappeared, right? right? Like, for example, if I just close the software, right, and the car is still running, now it'll determine, oh, wait a minute, that tool's no longer connected and it'll shut it off, right? Pretty cool. So we come back in here and basically this is a special edition. Come to live data under active test, and these two tests that I showed you, these two, whatever, um, what we want to call them, the fan. We just saw the fans. Let's go to the lights, and I'm going to start the lights again, just for. Being on, yeah, see it in the background, and that'll stay on, I think, because we are, yes, yeah, sending our tool connected message present, and I'll stay on as long as I am here talking, sending that tool connected message, and then I'll hit off. And of course, the dome light inside works too, but you can't see that anyway, so I'll stop that, and um. Okay, so this is, oh, it's starting to rain out here. Right now. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so there it is, a little bit calmer version of the uh, bi-directional capability. I think that pretty much shuts the, you know, I mean, I made that one video on, um, that one video, bi-directional myth. I think that's pretty much busted, man. I, I, you know, these, these dongles, it's about the information that you have. You know, it's the, the bi-directional, quote-unquote. And also, there's information we could be getting about, uh, you know, whether the fan is on, to, 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 like, so we could say the fan is on or not, right? I don't, I'm not showing that information, but this is a work in progress. It's, it's kind of unofficial, right? It's not on any of the official versions, so. But I figured you guys would like that. And it's, like, more like what you would see in one of these upper-scale kind of scan tools, you know? 
I have that Tech 2 clone, so maybe I can get some other Chev Chevrolet information. I mean, for other vehicles, I don't know if I can phony, you know, fake it out and make it think it's talking to uh, you know, different cars. So stay tuned for that. Alright, thanks a lot. See you around.